Hey, I'm gonna put my lips back on. You want me driving? Okay. What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Kristen Webb from Memphis, Tennessee, born and raised. Mm hmm. What's some uh some good parts or good things about Memphis that you can, I guess, quick quickly speak on? Quickly, I think the history is we oh. got a vibrant history, a lot of culture, uh, and a potential for a whole lot of growth. Potential. Put okay. Mm -hmm. What type of writing do you do? I do mainly fiction. Um, right now, I've been focusing on my short story fiction. Okay. Um, how long have you been writing? Been writing since I was seven years old. Um, starting out with poems, plays, mm. uh, moving into novels, um, and short fiction. Mm -hmm. You can't complain. Do you remember any of them? Poems or? Unfortunately, I don't. What you lost them? Uh, yeah, I didn't keep up with them. Yeah. That's so slow. Had a whole span of life where I stopped, you know, so who knows where it is. Might be in mom's house somewhere. For real. Mm hmm Okay, um, we said how long. What inspires the right? Uh, for me, um, just wanting to be able to inspire myself and others, um, create a sense of self and opportunity to change and become better individuals. Yeah. Okay, um, can you tell me the difference between fiction and non-fiction? Because I might be one that really don't know what I it mean, is. It gets yeah. a little tricky. <laughs> no, for some, I mean, for even me, when, before I really got into it, but basically the main difference is nonfiction is usually the truth based on facts. Mm -hmm. Something you can actually look up and bag up, whereas fiction is just kind of more of a creative, non realistic, non real okay. um, thoughts. Yep. I got you. Um, name the, I guess, like, re, uh, I was going to say readers, but. Writers or authors that influenced you growing up? I don't have any specific ones except for my father. He was a non-fiction writer and probably, in my opinion, one of the best writers. Of course, I'm biased. I was his daughter, but, I mean, for me, it's, he's who I try and measure up to as far as my writing skills. Does he have any books out or any uh, anything that he's published? Um, he contributed to a lot of books, a lot of articles. Um, mm -hmm. He wrote for a local newspaper for years here. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, what's unique about you that sets you apart from other writers? I think in general because I write fiction, but I write it in a way that I'm trying to touch the reader in a realistic way. So even though it's, you know, fantasy it might be full of drama and mm. so on and so on, it should relate to you in some real way. Mm -hmm. mm. If anyone is interested in following your blog, what's your web address? It's www.isitarealone.blogspot.com. Mm. That's www.isitarealone.blogspot.com. I was sure going to say repeat, rewind. Right. <laughs> oh, how often do you post on your blog site? I at least try and put one story out weekly. Mm. Sometimes you look up and see two, but on a weekly basis. What kind of, um, does it take you a long time to actually get into the story or? get into the characters or a lot of times when I think some of my best work um, I pray I say a prayer and ask for direction to write it mm. and it might take me 15 minutes tops to write a story for real so um, and to me the ones that I actually pray about before I start writing those end up being some of my best work in my opinion for real how and long? others yeah well how long has the um, blog spot been going on it's been going on since May of last year so I'm getting close to a year straight up mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Got like 25 stories out there so far. Roughly. Well, it might be a little bit more than that. You got a, uh, you got a lot of, of followers or a big crowd? or. I have more people visiting. I'll say I'm up to like 20 followers. I don't know. Sure. <laughs> I mean, I don't consider that to be a large uh, pool, but I think it's growing. Um, mm -hmm. I have a lot of people that do have to go out there and read it. I can kind of monitor my stats. So I know people are checking it out. Mm -hmm. You know, I think last year I had maybe 500 people that checked it out. Wow. Um, but, you know, of course, not everybody's actually becoming followers. So I'm trying to encourage it and market it a little bit more. So. Well, I appreciate you. And, hey, good. It's a good interview. I enjoyed it. I appreciate you. Thank you. Follow.